and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have amazing guests. We are the double the double double, double y'all. The double 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 couple. And over here is my husband, Bio. Zero, zero, zero. Then over here, my twin sister and her amazing husband. Do you want to say something? Hey y'all. <laughs> Anyways, today we have a very juicy topic for you all we're going to be talking about long distance relationships and in our case marriage so for those that do not know we both is it both the four of us have actually been in a long distance marriage so far we've been married so far for how many months Seven months. Wow, so so yeah. seven months. Just like social media people say, time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we've been yeah. married for seven months, and since we got married, we've actually been in a long distance marriage. And prior to us getting married as well, we were also in a long distance relationship. So, Baya and I were doing a long distance relationship um, for almost a year. Prior to us getting married, we started the long distance relationship January 2021. Was it you were in Chicago, right? Um, no, but I moved in January 2021. Mm -hmm. So, is it? From, yeah, January 2021 to October 2021. We're long distance oh, yes, before we yes. got married. However, um, that, that and Larry, that the experts, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're veterans in this game. <laughs> this is going to be our, I guess, total. Seven years. It's <laughs> <laughs> not seven years. Wait, when did you start dating? Twenty fifteen, and this is twenty twenty two. Seven so, years of, of long distance. Yes. So. I'm sure you guys are not even feeling this. To God be the glory. I mean, it's been nice um, being able to enjoy us in ourselves. <laughs> No, no, it's still a little Nasty nice. man! It's still a little nice. I'm gonna say just because I mean, just like it's different. <laughs> it's different when you're single and when you're married. I mean, it's like we're still the same, right? I mean, we're dating for what, five years ish? Six years. I don't think it's up to that point. <laughs> I, I, I think there's a difference when you, when you enter marriage. It's like, I mean, everything is heightened, right? Your feelings for each other are heightened. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> I mean, not just feelings, but at the same time, it's like petty things in terms of like arguments. Like, it's all really? like, I mean, you guys argue. I mean, <laughs> I, don't I, don't know. Know. I mean, obviously, we're long distance, but at least we lived, we're together um, after the wedding for a few months. So I think just seeing the persons, you know how they say the little things, mm -hmm. and just seeing how different you guys are in certain ways. I also think it's just the expectations. So it's like, you know, hey, I'm married to this person now. I mean, we're the same, nothing has changed, you know, physically and all, right? But it's at the same time, like, mm -hmm. some things that before I'll just be like, oh, whatever. It's like now I'm like getting <laughs> angry <laughs> for no reason, I'm not getting irritated. So I don't know, just little things like that. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's been great. Like, being, being with my man and being able to, you know, <laughs> it's been an awesome experience. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that and I think just honestly, companionship. I mean, of course, we'll be companions, but I guess companionship on a different um, level and just somebody being like your person, like teamwork, the partnership. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Baya, what about you? How is marriage life with me? <laughs> Sorry. It has been a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, it, it, it has been blissful. Um, honestly, like a week ago, I was just thinking, like, how important it is to have a partner. Sometimes you you underestimate the things that they add into your life. You know, um, even things like you know chores like things that just help you especially when you're busy with your career and all that stuff <laughs> no, no no i mean I, I, don't, I don't want people to get a wrong image like i cook a lot even before she she can testify to that like i cooked a lot before she came but i mean sometimes when you're just busy yeah. with career and then you still have to be the one to take care of the house to cook to clean and all that stuff you begin to really appreciate 
you know, the partner. Of course, it has had its ups and downs. <laughs> it has had its highs and lows arguments, of course, you know. But overall, it's it's been a blessing. It's been a it's it's beyond what I could have ever imagined. Aww. Yeah, and for me, I think it's similar as well. Like the teamwork, really, really enjoyed the teamwork. Having someone to support when needed. When work is like super busy for me, or I'm just occupied with stuff. Like today, the fried dodo for me, and I'm like, ah, what about the good sweets? <laughs> yeah, so he made good sweets. Such a treat. <laughs> <laughs> <man's man. laughs> yeah, so I'm saying like that has been my favorite part, and someone to play with as well because we are very playful but i'll be honest that we also have our, our um, down times when i say down times because we're very um i'm sure dara and larry will understand we're very out there so when we play we play to the extreme and when we fight ah uh, hey, <laughs> overall it's been good Seven years. <laughs> it's not a joke. Are you sure it's not four? It's not four years. Okay. I mean, it's. I feel like maybe for us, because we've been doing it for a long time, we're like used to it. Because I know a lot of people, when they hear like the amount of time it's been, they're like, oh my god, like, wow, how, how have we been doing it? But I think for us, we've kind of adapted. Even though. I mean, it doesn't take away from the fact that being in a long distance relationship is still always challenging, especially um, even like being married and being long distance, because I can also relate to some of the things <clears throat> that Bio just said, because um, I, I just started my PhD last fall, and the um, co first couple months after marriage that we were together, it was honestly really nice, like just having someone. Now, Larry was the one cooking, like, really? cooking, <laughs> cooking, cleaning. <laughs> And then when I came back like to be by myself again for the spring semester out there, there were just some days I'm just like, oh my god, like I need to read, I still need to cook, I need to clean up. So I think sometimes you just miss out on just key aspects of like having that support. Mm -hmm. Or there are times when um let's say my cohorts, like my classmates, were having a hangout and I'm just like, oh I have to cook like, by myself, like I'll just wish sometimes that it would so that we'll actually go together. So I think just little things like that you miss out on. Yeah, just that companionship. But um, overall, like I think being committed to each other, um, that's yeah. what has really helped us. And of course, God being at the center of our relationships. So. Yeah, that's Larry. What are you feeling? <laughs> um, I think for me, like it definitely was harder the first you know, four or five years. Um, not just getting into it but at the same time um being college students right oh, like yeah, um <laughs> money was not uh, you know we thank god <laughs> but um you know flights can be expensive so we're seeing each other just like once or twice a year yeah. um good years twice thrice but <laughs> ideally like once or twice so um thank god i think a few years ago 2019 or so we started seeing each other much more often i think um also like what well, we're seeing like I think almost every month. Yeah, so he moved, time, yeah. he moved to Indiana, which um, and I was in Chicago. So Indiana to Chicago is super close. Like driving is like yeah. four hours. So we started seeing each other. Yeah, almost yeah. every month. Yeah, almost every month. Yeah. This was so, before COVID. Almost every month, and then yeah. of course COVID hit. But at some point, you know, when things started to relax a bit, um, maybe around July or. 2020, um, started seeing each other much more often again, maybe like once a month, once every two months, something like that. And I mean, it's it's been all right, um, not the best, but again, I think it's just like you said, like once you have God at the center of everything, um, and then both of you are understanding, you both of you are able to learn because there's a huge learning curve. Um, I think things tend to get better over time. So, yeah, yeah, I have a question for you guys because I mean, I think people would be people would want to know. Because um, you guys, like you said, are veterans <laughs> with long distance relationship. So, you know, after you get married, you are legal, right? You can you can do hanky panky, you can do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So after doing all that hanky panky for that short period, and then you had to separate. Was it more? Is it more challenging now to keep yourselves pure, you know, with God as the center, than it was then, or it's just like? 
Um, since we did it for five years, nothing happened. It's easy for us to be more even disciplined now that. I mean, honestly, I think it's how, how I see it is um, it's been challenging right? all through, right? I mean, we're all human, so like, <laughs> but you know, if I if I would, so but I think um, with marriage, now that like, hey, you know, ah, this thing is is sweet, you know, <laughs> we're all separate with. I think um, for sure because we've been able to at least hold for five years. Um, I think it is not something where it's like, oh my god, I need I need this and you know it's start driving. I mean hey, I'm mostly human but I thank God for um, at least some level of discipline. You know that okay we've done this before so it's not the worst where it's like okay I need to go out and I'm fine with somewhere else. You, know, you know right like yeah. for, for me to satisfy myself it's like okay hey hold it but at the same time it's definitely hard and I I'm always telling her, I'm always just like, no, no, it's true, right? Because, you know, sometimes you, you, you sleep in tune and like, come on. Just be real, right? <laughs> it's, it's like, okay, hey, like, you know, I'm missing my wife kind of thing, but um, it's that, it, you know, personally, it's definitely hard and I'm going single, mm. but yeah. at the same time, um, I think just having that, you know, those years of discipline has, yeah. you know, definitely helps me. Yeah. Was, yeah. On the same level right yeah. now, so yeah. Are you guys ever tempted to virtual? Ah. Virtual. <laughs> I don't care about those kind of things. Oculus. That one looks like a guy. Oh no, no. I think I don't know, I mean, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like it's wrong, right? But I think we're just people who. I mean, what does the kind of control is just there, you don't I want to say self-control, I think it's just like... I mean, I, 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 I think... No... I, I, it's I, just not a thing, right? Like, yeah, like, I, I guess it's... Um, it can also kind of be like a... See, what do you call it? Like a great area? Like yeah. when you... I, I mean, yeah, you guys are married and of course you can... What was like, talk to each other and all those things, but I feel like you still want to be careful not to start um, like sipping into other things where now maybe you have other like, other gadgets like replacing your partner I mean that's just my own personal opinion so yeah. I think you need to kind of be careful yeah, no, but that's, I, I definitely agree with what Larry said, like how I really feel the discipline in the dating stage really translates to marriage and I mean, Baya and I were talking yesterday, you know, like how growing up, they'll tell you don't have sex before marriage because, quote and unquote, God doesn't want you to do that. But I feel like being married, it helps, it's so far like helped me better understand why abstinence is good while dating because it would really help you in situations like this where you find yourselves in a long distance relationship or long distance marriage because while you're dating if you're intentional about number one not having sex or doing sexual things but spending your time doing other things like maybe growing together reading together talking I mean about your future like it helps you because when you are not able to have sex like if you're apart like your, your foundation is already um, it is rooted in something even greater right so it really helps to like keep the intimacy because even like Baya and I I really felt like yeah being in a long distance marriage of course yes we missed out on this whole teamwork thing that mm -hmm. we've been talking about but I don't really feel like it's really affected our marriage like that this is my own opinion because we're intentional that during the dating, dating stage like we we'll focus more on other things so like when we're long distance um yeah we had like other things to talk about yeah like, beyond the sexual things mm -hmm. yeah and i think that's it's important that you don't build your relationship on just the sexual things and it's just amazing some of these things that we learn in high school only for you to grow up and realize that it's all trash right because a lot of people are still out there thinking you know it's all about the sexual stuff you know sex 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 and i don't i feel like if, if it had been like that for us our marriage would have been falling apart because you know when we were long distance 
it, it was, it, it did, I didn't really feel it because we're friends. Like what we just, we talk about our day, we're talking about ideas, business ideas, all these things. So the only thing that really suffered, like you said, was okay, help in the house and you know, maybe there's no sexual intimate partner. But aside that, the marriage was pretty much the same going well right so i think it's it's important for people who are getting into relationships you know sex is important yes it's enjoyable it's pleasurable but make sure you're getting with somebody that you can talk with like you talk because you won't have sex like pastor king said you say <laughs> you won't have sex for 24 hours right yeah. there's the talking there's business ideas beyond your beauty what can you what do you bring yeah. Right, because I mean, for a guy, sometimes we are blinded by the physical, like oh, she looks good, she's hot. But after a while of having sex, after you be demanding something else, like what else do you bring to the table? How, what is you know, um, beyond twerking your body? <laughs> Can you twerk your brain? Like what's 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 there for us in this marriage? What do you bring to the table? Right. So I think it's important that you get with somebody that you have a rapport with and and that can. That can bring something intellectually as well. So, so, quick question, right? <laughs> um, as a guy and as ladies, what have you done for in terms of um, you know, guys are physical, you know, things look and be along this and what how, how have you resisted, you know, any kind of temptation? What have you done in terms of like okay, saying that okay, you know, I don't have my person here, mm. but I have to control myself to not be having you know one eyes. And as ladies, um I mean, it, it's not a, a you know, one size fits all thing. Like, some ladies are definitely physical, more physical, but most I've come across that tend to be more emotional. How have you controlled yourself in you know saying, okay, hey, my man is not here, but I'm still able to you know control myself so that I'm not falling or you know kind of deriving that um, attention from somebody around. Yeah, so um, I think one thing that really helped me, because I'll be honest with you, um, I'm, I think I'm a very sexual person. <laughs> and you don't need to be ashamed to do Yes, yeah, I'm very sexual. <laughs> um, so I think one thing that really helps me is keeping myself accountable. Yeah, so even from when we're dating, like I'll open up to her, like I ha I'm having these troubles and I don't want to fall. So I'm opening it up to you to keep me accountable. And I really appreciate how she rose up to the challenge, right? She was very mature mm. about it. So my mother we may be like, eh, I'm not good. Okay. But you know, she's been she's been that accountability partner for me. Um, so I can tell her anything. And I've noticed that when you're open to your partner, it loses power. Right? Like you see a beautiful girl, ah, that girl is, looks good. I would rather say it out than keep it in. Exactly. Because when you keep it in, it can grow into all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So I tell her as I feel it. And if I feel like, oh, I'm a little weak, I need support, I need you to just speak to me. Sometimes you just, you just tell me, don't. And that's enough, right? And one thing I also notice is that it helped her open up to me as well about certain things. You sometimes look at people and be like, ah, these people are perfect. They lie. <laughs> like, the time people start opening up, you, everybody starts opening up, you'll be finding out that people have issues, right? So, yeah, I, I also noticed that she too started to open up to me about different things. Whether we've handled it well or not, <laughs> that's another topic. But in this marriage, we've cultivated a habit of opening up to people and struggles just fall mm -hmm. and they are not as strong as they seem to be the moment you open up so and i think in addition to larry's question this might be a good time to talk about like what has helped us in our long distance marriage because that's um, the core of this video so in addition to what bio yeah, nation, like, we we'll keep saying that the, the devil thrives in secrecy. So, like, one of the things that would help you, not just in your long distance marriage relationship, but just in your marriage in general, even when you both are together, is to never keep secrets. Because I'll be honest with you, Dara and Larry don't know, but by all means, when I was in California, I actually did have a crush on someone. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, the <laughs> 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 
everything. Yeah. There's nobody here that said they did not have a crush or forget it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It, but it was, it was something that... It, so, I mean, I guess... What I feel like she was manipulated. Because I'm a guy. Oh, and I know how to get to the woman. He did it deliberately. No, man. I'm very sure, but I think... I was just going to say, like, I feel like at the end of the day, like, as human beings, the fact that you're dating someone or you're married to someone does not mean you know, like, you will never have eyes for someone else. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> no, like, seriously, because for us that like, we're long distance for six years, even though now it keeps us say five years, six years, yeah, and we are still long distance. Like, there were definitely times when. I, I definitely had crushes on other guys. I know me, I'm fine now. So getting, <laughs> getting the attention as well. So is like they always say sometimes that out of out of sight, out of mind. And sometimes the fact is that it's, it's real. Like I'm not even going to lie, but like I just said the transparency just coming clean like yeah. to your partner really helps rather than oh trying to keep it and feed it because the more you keep it in that feeling is just going to keep on going yeah yeah, yeah. so i actually did yeah for a for a bit for a short period of time and i and i told Baya about it yeah, I, I didn't handle it well. Exactly. How, is it? How dare you? You didn't handle it. And I'm in Chicago, you're in California. <laughs> you're going to stay on this video <laughs> call to tomorrow <laughs> or to the day you're not in Chicago. Okay, yeah, so he didn't, he didn't handle it well at all. Uh-uh. That's the life of God. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but I made sure that I told him about it because when we begin to like hide things, that's how people just find themselves in like in very crazy situations. So please make sure you never ever keep secret. And in addition to Larry's question, like basically going back to the question he asked and still about how to deal with long distance marriages. Also making sure that you're not putting yourself in compromising situations. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important for you to think about if the roles were reversed, how could I have felt? So for example, when I was in California, because I'm someone that hangs out in the lot, I made sure that I never hung out with the opposite sex alone. Like, I always ensured we were in groups or so because you can't trust yourself too much. There are people that will be feeling like, oh, I'm too strong. <laughs> but like, it's just like how they say, like rather than try to fight the temptation when it's facing you, why don't you prevent it? Mm -hmm. So making sure you're thinking about those things, like oh, if there's this guy that's asking you to, let's say, come hang out with him, think about it like if a girl were doing the same thing with my man, how would you have wanted him to react or respond to things? So you need to get to a point where you'll be like, no, I am not going to move forward with this because this is wrong. So just, yeah, putting yourself in your partner's shoes, like that would be a good way to handle, yeah, all these sexual temptations. Yeah, you can clap on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, break up basket. <laughs> um, I mean, of course, besides the um, transparency, accountability, I think also just um, really um, communicating video calls every day because I feel like one of the benefits of giving in this day and age is technology. Like sometimes when I think about people who have been able to do long distance, like when they were, when phones were not even like personal phones were not a thing, writing letters to each other, I feel like in this day and age you definitely have an advantage. So making sure that you talk to each other every day and video like so you're actually able to see each other because I feel like one of the things that has really helped us is just how even though like there were some years like Larry said that we will only see maybe once or twice but in that <laughs> video call sometimes you don't even realize how long it's been because Try it's, see, yeah. Yeah, like in, <laughs> when, we're, when we're in college, so I feel like that video call sometimes doesn't even make you realize how long it's been because you've been seeing each other so long. Um, so yeah, the video calls are definitely very important, and I think still also trying to incorporate things that you normally do, like the fact that you're in a long-distance relationship doesn't mean that you can't still do things that you would do, like in a physical relationship because one of the things I know we tried one time I was like two or three years ago was we went on a virtual date so we found one restaurant a restaurant that was 
located in our respective cities and then we went there together and we were just on we were on Skype together and just eating. <laughs> 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 I know it was really weird, but I just don't need to so I really dressed up like, like on a fancy restaurant. So it was really, really weird, but I mean, as weird as it was, as weird as it was, it was also nice because sometimes I feel like just being doing video call every day can get bored. So just trying to think of creative ways to do new things. Um, we also we've also done the house party thing, the house party app where you can play games and all. So just thinking of different ways to still date each other, even though you are long distance, like just. It seems. I mean, I think lastly, for me, um, one thing that I really have seen being in a long distance relationship, right, is in addition to everything and, you know, still living like, like you're, t you're still together, um, one thing is also to enjoy the long distance, right? So, one thing that I used to think about every now and then was, hey, um, I'm not my partner, right? And of course, you know how they say, like, once you start dating someone and start, you, know, you get married, you know, we never see you again, right? In this case, you know, you're in a relationship, but you're still, you know, you're still like, li it's like a balance, like, you're in a relationship, but it's almost like you're single, right? And why is this? Because, um, you know, I still got to explore, you know, have my friends, um, still went out a lot and everything. She still do the same thing. I mean, she has her friends, she goes out, you know, get, gets to meet people, right? And, I think it's, it's very interesting because, you know, you still live a separate lives, but then we still make sure that we keep, you know, we tell each other about it fully. So, you know, tell her, okay, hey, this is why I met, this is how my day went. Mm -hmm. um, she will tell me the same thing. So that way we still know what's happening in each other's lives. Yeah. We're still enjoying each other. So it's not like you're, I, I mean, the benefits of that is one, you're not alone at home thinking, oh my gosh, you know, even when I had my partner here, you know, you're actually going out and you're meeting people and you're having fun and you're still enjoying. Um, Another thing is, you know, sometimes, you know, being lonely can start bringing some thoughts. In single days, that was obviously much worse. So, um, going out definitely helps a lot because you tend not to now, you know, have, you know, have to exactly have time to dwell in those thoughts. You're out with friends, you know, you're having game nights, you're having, you know, data activity, just different things. Um, but then the other side to that that one has to be careful about is, um, not to also get too into it that you feel like that you're basically living as a single. Mm -hmm. So what that means is, you know, hey, you're going out and then maybe you find yourself flirting with someone else. <laughs> so, no, I mean, it's a real thing, right? Because sometimes you go out and then, you know, you're picking up, like, <laughs> it, it, it might be tending to, like, you know, be open to attention that comes to you. So I think sometimes knowing how to let people know, up, you know, up front that, hey, you know, you're in a relationship, maybe it was just to, you know, Slip it in like, oh yeah, you know my boyfriend or this now. <laughs> oh hey, my wife or yeah, my exactly. girlfriend or something, or you know, just kind of slip it. I mean, unfortunately, I put my ring right now, but, <laughs> but I, I make sure that you know, if I'm going out, I mean, on a day to day, um, if I'm going to like work or something, I mean, I work sometimes with um, you know, tools and everything, um, and I might not have it, but everyone around me knows that hey, I'm married because right? I make sure that I'll mention it. And if I'm go actually going out, I will wear my ring, right? Just to, like. Something small that like people around you know, it just at first keeps, you know, let's people know like, hey, okay, there's a boundary to meet. And then for those who want to break it, I think it just comes to you being more, a bit more disciplined and conscious, you know, conscious and say, hey, and intentional, right? To say, okay, I'm not going to, um, you know, succumb to that mentality of singleness while we'll be celebrating. So I was just going to add to what Larry said about enjoying the journey of long distance because I guess one of the things I just always think about is how like for us like we've gotten the opportunity to visit so many cities like states that we probably wouldn't have ever been to if not for this relationship so that's just another plus like now i'm in lobot i'm in a village it was in columbus indiana people are like oh where's that what's columbus indiana <laughs> it was in columbus ohio to one time houston so it's nice that like, we really we moved around so that's Another <laughs> yeah, and I guess um, yeah, I'm trying to remember um, one of the things we were talking about in terms of things that would help in long distance relationships. Uh, I think yeah, Larry was talking about yeah, keeping your spouse informed about what's going on. That really helps a lot because, for example, people like Bio. There are times that Bio will not hear for uh, from him for several hours in the day. Like honestly, and I really feel like 
what sometimes helps me not to get as angry as I'm supposed to is because maybe prior to that moment, you could have already told me that, oh, tomorrow I'm going for this birthday, whatever, whatever, whatever. So if I'm not hearing from him, like rather than maybe getting all worried, like I hope he's safe or whatever, I already know that he is at a birthday thing. So yeah, so it's just very important that you keep each other um yeah, up to date on your plans, on mm -hmm. on what's going on, and um, yeah, and I, I think it's also important that um, people are given room to grow into some things. Because for you, it's normal for me to be at a social gathering and I'm keeping you up to date, which you do very well. And sometimes I'm like, why are you telling me you just got there? And you tell me you're leaving. Why are you telling me I'm not <laughs> But but. I mean, it's her expectation, right? And it's it's even even though it's not normal for me, um, it's it's important to understand that you can grow into some things, right? So I realize, okay, it's important for her to keep her updated on things and whatnot. Even though you're at a social gathering, still, you know, keep the communication going so she's aware of what's going on and whatnot. So it's it's yeah, I think it's important for people to understand that you should also be ready to grow into some things even though it feels like that's weird right mm -hmm. but if, if it matters to your partner then it should matter to you as well yeah mm -hmm. i think the key thing is just putting your partner first like even regarding growing into things so recently we um i mean larry would know this but since we were both in california at a pool party and the reason i did not wear um, in bikini was because Bio was in there. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be so, showing my, my cheeks that belong to somebody else. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm just saying this because, like, in marriage, you would need to put the other person first. And me, of course, I was I was like, I wish I could wear a bikini because, come on, I'm very hot. And this is something that I would like the world to see. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, but seriously, I had to think about that. And yeah, these are just more the decisions you had to make both and when you're in a long distance relationship marriage and even when you put that together just making sure you're putting the other person first mm -hmm. yeah i guess yeah. i mean um i mean, one thing i'd like to add on sammy and uh is the question i was um, also gonna ask all of you is kind of things that we've at least we've noticed um over time that we've been able to grow because long distance is like i said before is a huge learning curve and there's a lot of things that we would have to, you would have to you know, kind of adjust to. Um, I know myself have adjusted to a few things um, that would have previously caused fights. I know one thing that I know Dara definitely adjusted to that I did not like when we first started was her. So I always saw it as hmm, you know when we when we were separate. Dara is the oh you know I don't care kind of person. I mean I'm more of hey let you know we must talk. But at first that's not how it was. You know, let, um, I know there was a time when like, I was studying for an exam and then we didn't talk for I think a day or two and that was, she was really like acting out like, you know, <laughs> yeah, she was really like, acting out like, you know, this, that, that and like, you know, we not really getting very angry, like very, like, very angry and then the next time she got back or something similar, this one actually went for a Christian retreat this year and there was no, no network there like it never there was, was <laughs> no network. And she knows who I went to, she knows she was part of the organization, but then she was really acting out and really like threatening like oh you know, uh, you know, I think we we'll just have to like break up. I was like, ah. She, she, like, this was before they were married. No, no, this was before we were married. This was like, this was bad when we first started. Because of so, network. We were, we, were, we, were much, we were much younger. Yeah. I think this was like, this was back in like 2015, 2016. Yeah. So we were much younger. So, and then as I said, like, of course, there's lots of things that we Maybe she was hiring somebody. No, she was looking for a reason. <laughs> because I was like, I mean, honestly, I was sitting there like, look, if this girl tries to me one more time, <laughs> that's it. I'm not like I'm not doing that. How do I do all that kind of thing? It's like, but then I mean, I thank God that it worked out. I mean, she grew to the point that I think now, um, the only time that fights can come out from that topic is let's say, um, maybe I, I'm bad at communicating. Like I actually don't communicate here. I'm going to do this. So this is why I would not, you know, kind of I think what Dal mentioned. Why I would not be able to uh, talk to you. Um, you know, today or something, but I, yeah, I think as long as we're having like reasonable communication, like yeah. that, this will go one day. You know, I think usually it's like at most one day without talking. Usually, maybe like we're busy, like I'm out the whole day. Um, 
she's studying for something for a long time and I mean we just understand now so mm. yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. So I think for you guys what is, what is something that you know you figured out like hey you know this person has definitely grown from this that before it was like just a pain yeah I, I think for me it's the whole communicating when you go out mm. yeah because with bio like you would you and most of the time I won't hear from him for hours. Like from the time he leaves, even there are times I don't even know when he leaves the house. Because for me, I will at least message by I'm leaving the house now. When I get there, I'll say I just got there. Even when I'm there, I'll be like, oh, this is what is going on. And when I'm leaving, I'm about to leave. But we buy your like nothing. You just go silent. And then I, I, I'll be so angry to be 11 p.m. I couldn't have heard anything from him. I would not have to like message him that please, what's going on? Because there are times I honestly get worried. Like, is he okay? Like, it's, it's mainly like his security that comes to mind. Like, how come he hasn't said anything or so? So, yeah, but I feel like over time he's gotten a little better in the <laughs> sense that, that yeah, so that he at least tells me when he's leaving the house. But he still goes silent, but he's. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think for me, yeah, I usually just depend on the help of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's the one that reminds me to text her sometimes, because I mean, I was, I was single for a very long time, and I enjoyed my, <laughs> I enjoyed my singleness. Oh, I enjoyed, yeah. yeah. So it's hard. Well, it's not hard, but it's not easy to now get used to this life of mm -hmm. always keep. Keeping this person in the loop as to what's Especially going on. Yeah, she, she can be an Obasabi. <laughs> like people will be listening now, be thinking, ah, Baya doesn't communicate. But you know, I, I try my best. But I mean, it's 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 something I've had to train myself into. And one thing I, I like about myself is I can I adapt very easily. Like I wasn't the cleanest of of, of persons before I met her. Um, and after like spending a few when we went when we were at um, California, mm. after spending a few you know weeks with her, I just kind of imbibe that culture of being clean all the time. So um, thankfully, I'm someone that adapts and whatnot. So mm. yeah, that has really helped. Mm. Mm. Like, we are not only fine on Instagram, but I'm actually clean in real life. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people yeah. don't yeah, find what yeah. they see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think. I, I mean, from the communication thing, I think we, we can probably all relate. Uh, apart from down that, just <laughs> but I think because I think it can be the same way for me. So I know, yeah, that when I go out, I also probably don't communicate as much. But I feel like with time, you just like you, you just grow to understand. Like, because you, if you already told me you were going to be out. And you and you're not really active in texting. I wouldn't be concerned. I'll just do my own thing. Like maybe chill. Or whatever. Well, I mean, she, don't mind. She still gets angry. Like, she will not. No, no, no. What, what's the problem? Why is why is that? Like, oh, oh, you just let me know. So, why is it rare? Honestly, I think it's rare. I mean, it's not like that often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and something else that came to mind. That, I believe in addition to something Dara had mentioned earlier about making your phone conversations unique. I know she spoke about a uh, house party and everything, and also the virtual dates. Yeah, I know something Bayer and I were doing. By the way, for people that don't know, I recently, I mean, Bayer and I were long distance before. He was in Chicago, Illinois. I was in San Francisco area, California. But by the grace of God, we thank God. We are now back together. Ooh. Yes, yes, and we're praying by the grace of God. There are Larry. I think they are veterans, they are fine. Yeah, yeah, they are all people. They are all people. They are all people. Yeah, but when we were doing our long distance thing, one of the things we used to do was um, Q and A, where we just randomly find questions. This girl is an appropriate. <laughs> we do Q and A. She just wants to know my life history. <laughs> Just tell me to tell you. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, just find interesting questions online that you can ask each other. And it's so really say, who, who do you find attractive? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to I'm move not... deep. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't worry. I'm not that thing. I'm from Go. But it's always interesting, like getting to know more about uh, the other person. And I feel the Q&A helps to steer conversations that won't, like, 
let it really come to your mind. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So like that really, really helped. And something else that came to mind as well that helped with the distance one was and is like sending gifts to your partner. Before you people start saying God when, God when. Honestly, it only happened once, so when by us, <laughs> I mean, twice. The second one, the person didn't deliver. I don't know why they are trying to spoil us. <laughs> yeah, no, but like that helps. Um, yeah, I guess I'll tell you all the story. There was actually a time, yeah, he sends flowers and uh, I think a teddy bear and chocolate to work. Aww. It was delivered to work, and I, I really felt very special but the reason why i'm saying better don't say god when i start fighting with your spouse is because it, it only happened once or twice and we we're distant for like over a year so do you get so i'm sure there are lots of things that your partner too is doing that buyer is not doing the same way there are things buyer is doing that probably your partner is not doing and it's very okay the important thing is growing to that level but that always helps because it makes you it reminds you that your partner has you in mind i think just also <clears throat> having a schedule for seeing yes like have like maybe in a long distance relationship relationship is hard because i feel like just the tickets you spend flying back and forth it really it can be a lot but i think you still need to prioritize your relationship and ensure that there's at least a fixed schedule so that you guys have something to look forward to i mean sometimes obviously it's hard to stay on schedule work and life but still just prioritize on um, yeah your relationship and have a plan for integration and like you guys can speak more to, yeah to your own story yeah i guess i'll add to that yes long distance marriage should not be permanent because <laughs> even god's word says it is not good mm. the bible says it is not good for man to be alone so don't be saying oh i'm in a long distance marriage but making it work it continues forever no there has to be a plan like that i said for integration so in terms of like buyer and i um yes i took a job in california that is how we became long distance but from the get-go from the time i took that job i already knew that there was a plan in mind for when we'll be together i knew that the plan was okay let me get the experience and by god's grace it has switched to a new team that's that was going to be my priority a new team within the same company that will allow me work remote or if that doesn't happen find a remote position in, in a different company so that i can end up moving back to be with bio and i'm just saying this um make sure the integration is in mind and make sure you're also thinking about your own career goals as well i'm pretty sure people are different but for me i wasn't going to be that woman that i would just quit my job um <laughs> just no, just nothing. exactly with nothing and i'll now be begging by your but <laughs> what do they call it chop money go for me <laughs> go for me how oh, yeah. pastor kingsley will say ah if you don't uh, do this, I will not buy you. I will not give you money for chewing gum. I didn't want to be in that situation, so I knew for sure that even though I wanted to be back with Bay as soon as possible, I knew I had to be like leaving California to Chicago with a bread in hand. Yeah, that's, that's a <laughs> bread. Very good. Point. Don't, message to ladies out there: Don't, in the name of love or marriage, mm -hmm. now shut your entire life down. Um, it's very important that the woman also has her own and can, her, can hold her own um, Yeah, because it just creates room for even the nicest person to begin to exploit Like if she's solely dependent on me when she are not like it, it, it creates room for all kinds of things <laughs> yes, you know, yeah. Even the nicest people so um, it's very important that both parties have their own thing and their own, their own person yeah and i think it, um, i was just gonna say I, I mean especially as singles like before you even get married like don't like it, it really boils down to women because i feel like women are the one ones who tend to give up more like when it comes to this long distance are like you had they ever find a guy moving because of his babe but girls most time oh my guy got a new job or he got admission into the school and you, you want to leave everything you're doing to follow him i think there has to be that balance because we know stories of people they've done that and things did not work out so i feel like still 
prioritize your own, whether it's your career or education, and just make sure that, um, like, even if things don't work out, like, with you guys in the end, because I feel like for Larry and I, even if we didn't work out, because we didn't plan our lives around each other, like, oh, Oh my god I'll let me follow him or he should follow me because i only like there was actually a time when you were applying to grad school like i wanted you to apply to schools in chicago but obviously with <laughs> with the standard of living and his financial situation at the time <laughs> at the time he knew that coming to live in chicago was not going to be the yeah. best best option even though we're still going we're going to be closer to each, to each other so we had to Think it, like just put things in perspective. Think about the long term, and I mean, we're trusting God that very, very soon certain things will be in place, yeah. and we'll be able to integrate. But prioritize you, especially as a single. Don't let your own career or whatever come be at the back burner. Yeah, one more thing in terms of dealing, um, yeah, with things in a long distance marriage relationship or whatever is make sure you are resolving issues promptly because you're already distant, you're already maybe in different states or different countries or even continents. So whenever you have misunderstandings, it's very important that those are resolved swiftly. I feel like a hypocrite because I know during my time, <laughs> there were times that Baya would annoy me, I won't talk to him. What's the, what's the reason why What's the reason why you're telling them to resolve it swiftly? To fear. That's what me I want to know. No, because it's, it helps, right? Mm -hmm. To not do what? Oh, to do what? Uh, it helps. It helps um, keep you both close. Yeah, because you're because already dis happen. you're already distant. You don't want uh -huh. to create for you that. You marry somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> not married, but like you don't want to create for that distance. Yeah, exactly. So unnecessary fights, like just yeah, trying to make sure you avoid the unnecessary fights. And if you end up getting to that point, finding ways to resolve them swiftly. Him so he also didn't talk to me before you think it was. Hmm. Me. Yeah, I always try so, to reach out. You know me, my life is just. <laughs> yeah, but that's all we have for right now. There's probably more, but honestly, this video has gone super long. But I really hope that you've learned a few things from this video thank you all so much for watching today's video uh, make sure you like make sure you share make sure you subscribe and follow us as well on instagram yes <laughs> thanks guys bye, bye.